So before we start sketching, I would like to show you something else. I would like to take a look at a 3D model of a laptop to try and understand what it is that we actually see again. Here we have a 3D model in Google SketchUp and we're going to have a look at what happens when we view this object from different angles. So I've predefined some, um, some scenes here. This is the laptop as, as you would see it um, as a user, as you're using the laptop. And so what we see is that all the edges of the screen here and the keyboard and the front of the, um, of the, of the laptop, they all appear quite horizontal. Um, and, but the edges on the left and the right side of the product, they actually have an angle to them. So in our field trip, we actually saw that when we viewed an object from a distance, it looked much different and more static um, than when we saw the object from more close by. And this is th the same happens in this 3D model. You can actually play around with the uh, settings. Um, it's called the, uh, the field of view. And if you change the field, field of view, you can take out all the perspective and make it a very static image, or you can add a very extreme field of view. Um, and as you now turn this thing, it looks like we're actually walking on top of the keyboard. So that's how close we are to this product. And as you can see, all the angles are changing to quite extreme, quite extreme angles. So this is what we call a wide angle view. And this is more a normal view. Okay, let's look at a, what we call three quarter view, where we were viewing this object from the left side, we actually see the top surface, we see the screen, but we see everything on an angle. And where all these lines were horizontal before, they now angle uh, up. And um, if we extend these, these lines, these parallel edges, we'll find that they actually will meet somewhere at a point in the distance, in this case on the horizon line, because it's standing on a horizontal surface. And so they meet on the horizon line, and we call this point a vanishing point. That's where all these lines end up. And we have that point on the right side of the object, that's the first vanishing point, and we also have it on the left side of this product. So let's have a look again at the three-quarter view, and now take a bit of a lower standpoint. And this is interesting, because where before all these lines were angling up towards the horizon line, we, we now see that the horizon line has dropped, and our line of sight, which is on the horizon line, uh, is now um, lower than the top edge of this laptop. And what that does is that this edge here is no longer pointing up, but it's now pointing down to, to meet in that same vanishing point. Let's have a look at a top view. So here we see the product as if we're flying over it like a bird, bird's eye perspective. You'll notice that the edges of the keyboard look pretty much horizontal and vertical, but the edges of the screen, the left and the right side of the screen, are now angled very strongly and they converge to the third vanishing point, which is somewhere below the keyboard of this laptop. Now let's look at the bottom. So this is a quite unusual perspective, it's also the most difficult one, but it's in essence the very same principles, because now we have our line of sight, the horizon line, below the product, and that means that all the angles, all the edges of the product are now angling down and tapering down towards one point at the horizon line below the object. So that creates a very different view. Um, so again, on the left side, and if we rotate it, we'll find a vanishing point on the right side as well. So if you can, I recommend you to do the same, to open a 3D model in a program like SketchUp, rotate it in different angles, and see what happens with all the lines and all the edges of the product. Where do they go? Where do they meet? 
how strong is their convergence. Um, what you can also do is grab the slider of this video and uh, drag it back and forth uh, and you'll actually have the same effect. 